close as a speakeasy at the Oliver Hotel. Very cool. Someone out there? Uh, no. Have you ever been here before? No, no. I haven't. We were outside filming some stuff and one of the gentlemen we bumped into said we had to come check this out. So we are a speakeasy style bar. We focus on cocktails, whiskeys, and spirits here. We don't have a say for a few rotating beers or wines. Uh, we also don't have food available just for today. If you'd like to get food, you're welcome to grab drinks here and take them over to the restaurant. Yeah, this is the hallway of the speakeasy. Somebody's knocking. You gotta be let in through that window. They open up the door and you gotta tell them the code. Let him in. What made you open this up? Because it didn't have a lock on it like the rest of them did. So now we're going to drive through downtown, or well, actually it's called old, the old city of Knoxville, Tennessee. Chucky, yes. we went to our first ever speakeasy. Yes, we did. Our hooch parlor. Met a wonderful couple. Monica and Brandon. They were very, very nice. And yeah, Chucky had a drink. I had a... Uh, what did they call it? A, a mocktail. mocktail. Mm -hmm. It was not a uh, cocktail with uh, booze in it. So yeah, it was uh, very, very cool. Very cool. Never been to one before. to be in the Smoky Mountains. We will be in, about, in Pigeon Forge in about uh, eight miles. Chucky and I decided to, uh, since we were so close from Knoxville, we decided to uh, come, come here on. and check it out for a little while tonight. So, we're going on a little adventure. We're going on a little adventure and you, my 
wonderful subscribers and people who watch this channel and people who found this channel. We're going to go on this little adventure together. Yeah. Oh, look at that view. Holy moly. That is gorgeous. Wow. That is something else, I'll tell you. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, that's beautiful. I wish I had a zoom to show you just how awesome this looks. Wow. Helicopter taking off. Helicopter ride. All right, so I guess we are pretty much in Pigeon Forge. They got a Joe's Crab Shack. Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We are at the Pigeon Forge Hard Rock Cafe. They got some mechanical guitars that do not spin at the present time. Yeah, they got these mechanical guitars right here. Pretty neat stuff. Yeah, Hard Rock Cafe and Pigeon Forge. Ooh, look at that, the Ramones, man. All four members of Punk Pioneers, the Ramones, signed this classic leather motorcycle jacket. Joey. That's cool. Vaughn wore that jack, uh, wore that Hawaiian shirt in the 1980s. Stevie Ray. And a guitar that Waylon Jennings played. Here's some additional parking for the Smoky Mountain Opry. Unfortunately, the Smoky Mountain Opry is closed permanently, I guess taking off the sign which is a darn shame they probably closed due to COVID and never reopened back up this is the Smoky Mountain Opry in Pigeon Forge Tennessee right next to the Hard Rock Casino I actually it's not a casino it's just a Hard Rock I should say it and right over there is the Wonderworks the upside down building it reminds me of a uh, we have something in West Bend uh, I'm sorry not West Bend Wisconsin Dells that's called Top Secret that's kind of like that uh, no offense, but save your five bucks on Top Secret. It's not very good. And right down the road there, we got the Hatfield and McCoy dinner feud. Yeah. Dinner feud. Hungry? Want to see some butt kicking? And down over there, I'm not sure what that is over there. That building tipped over. We haven't gotten that far yet. But I don't know. Are we driving more that way? We can if you want to. I mean, if we drive any more further that way, we'll hit Gatlinburg. So. Yeah. Uh, Maybe we'll save that for another time. We weren't planning on, yeah, we weren't planning on coming here. It's kind of a quick trip to go to the Hard Rock. There it is again, the Hard Rock Cafe, Pigeon Furge, Tennessee. And I am Yogurt. And she is Chucky. 